It's like it's like they almost were wondering if a horse was going to be staying in here. I mean, this is literally a horse stall door. I don't. I don't. So this morning, Radcliffe is going to be he's going to be up first. I'm going to tell you guys one of my favorite things about hunting in Africa. And like just being in Africa in general, it's completely different. Like, you know, in the States, we have seasons on, on every kind of animal you could possibly imagine from elk to deer to, um, I would say coyotes, but in Texas, we don't have seasons for those or pigs, but you guys get, you guys catch my drift. But here it's like, it's so well managed by, by the hunters themselves that it, there's really no season. He was telling me that I know it's a kind of crazy thing is there's more animals in Africa, South Africa right now than there's been ever in history because it's just the way that they manage them. They, they're just, that's what they care about. They manage their animals completely because they're all hunters here. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. There's no real season. So it's kind of like when, when Rackley and I go out this morning, he's up first. You don't really know what you're going after. You kind of have an idea. Like I really want a hem's buck and so does he. And I also want a, a red leshway. I don't know if that's ever going to happen or an Impala, but those are the things that can happen at any point during the day. So, but today he's up first. Um, I just, I just literally just gonna film for him all the way throughout the day. Not on this channel, but you go check out his. I'll be linking Lake Fort Guy at the very top of the description. You guys can watch some of his videos, and you guys can see my crusty filming. I'm pretty crusty at filming. Big things just happened. Wake up this morning, eat some eggs, put some stuff in my mouth, took a poo, went out there, and guess what? Rackley put the hammer down. Yeah. Actually, it was, yeah, it was a little different than that. He put the hammer down real quick. We're on the way to go. You know what? I'm not going to tell you a story. I'm just going to let Rack, you guys go follow Rack. You guys can figure it out yourself. So yesterday I used this rifle and I thought it may be shooting just a tad bit high and right. So we shot, here's, here's 25. I know there's two rounds in there, but there's 25 just to see where it was at. It was fine. And it's still shooting just a little right, which is fine. And then we brought it out to 100. This is where I aimed. That's where it hit. I was like, wow, that's pretty far. So we made a correction. Then we came over here. It's good to know though. Now we're, we're set golden, ready to get to hunting. And it is very, very windy. This also makes me feel a little bit better because at 200 yards, if it was already shooting high and right, and at 100 and at 200 would be even, it'd be even more significant. So, because I hit that, I hit that uh, blue wildebeest. I still double, I still hit him in the lungs, but I was aiming at the heart and it's still, I mean, just, I mean, it's fine. It did the job, you guys know the deal. It's before noon, we have like 30 to 40 mile an hour winds is ripping. Today would not be the day to be bow hunting. Oh yeah, guess what? Someone looks like they may have had a boo-boo here. Just a slight boo-boo in the ceiling. So, really quick, today for lunch we're having Eland lasagna. Which is actually that giant thing. It just looks like a giant cow. Guys, close the house. Thank you for the food that you have to eat. And see you again, but you have to eat for the food. Amen. Alright, no idea what you said, but I think it's probably I'm sure it's good. Thank you God for these tickets. Yeah. First time eating Eland. This is Elin going to be amazing. I kind of want to come out here and show you guys this real quick. I came out to the bathroom, which I can't show you what's in there. It's just it's inappropriate. But I want to show you guys this. These are some jacked up, like, what is going on with that cootie? Look at that. I didn't even know that could ever happen. And that one, that one, that one was just suffering. Look at that Ginsbach right there. All backwards. Holy crap, look at that Impala. Anyway, that, that one's my goal, but I want them to have them nice and strong straight up you know what i mean that, that's pretty much what i'm trying to go after over hopefully this video will actually end up with me going getting one of those or a red leshway which that's a water buck that's a water buck that's the one that one is very tough that one actually kind of reminds me of like hunting elk i'm going to teach you the art of b-roll you ready yeah first you got to get a good foreground an object such as a, a skull like this and then you need a proper background proper that word's proper. coming back with us oh, proper is coming back uh, absolute beautiful usage of the word proper here in South Africa. So right here we have a nice foreground and a beautiful background. So I don't even know what these trees are. So uh, you can pump out a rack focus, maybe. <laughs> okay, we're done. we're done. Okay. Uh, we're done. We're done. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. To teach you. I'm just gonna. Watch. Here we go. You guys ready? Oh yeah! Look at that. Hmm. You like that pan?
I don't know if you realized that Rackley the entire time. I was, we couldn't find a shooting lane. Yeah. At all. There was no shooting lane. It was just, imagine a bunch of those prickly bushes just stacked. That's all he was in. All I want to say is it's a pleasure to take someone like this man on a hunt. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is he already down? Yeah, he's like down. I want to let you guys know, like, what I mean by shooting lane, it was like that big of gap. That's so why I made that, that stupid noise again to get him to stop. Right between those bushes right there. It was good. Let's go look at him. Double red lashways, baby. <laughs> oh my god. This is actually what I came to after. I court. know. This is what I came to. There's a Raja, I see. So you guys gotta think about it. If you guys have ever hunted in New Mexico or Arizona, that's pretty much what this area of South Africa is. It's literally like the same terrain. They'll have like one road running through the entire property and that's what you drive on. That's it. Look at that. That's the kind of blood yeah. you want right there. That's oh, the, that's, that's not the good blood. blood. Yeah, I didn't go far, Rob. Right? No. My pussy is slightly bigger than Rackley's. <laughs> Are you bigger than Rackley's? <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, this is seriously what I, when I called him and talked to him or sent you an email, we, we actually exchanged about 18 or 20 emails. Red Leshway was number one on the list of animals I wanted to hunt of all of them. Oh, he just came in and just... It's definitely bigger bodied. Majestic. <laughs> Dude, double S, man. That's awesome. Woo. Okay, look at it. Oh, my God. Dude, uh, if he would just turn around and run straight at us and cool. just... Oh, you pissed so, me. Patrick was telling us like this this is not these aren't the same as like ours in the states. They don't drop these mm. and regrow. That's not they don't drop them. Apparently what's what's the softness you're talking about? Here? No, it's hard. It's no, hard, yeah. what happens when it how when they, soft when is they're it? younger they're soft. Like you can yeah. literally Yeah, you can push it in. Really? So this is an old one because it's it's hard, yeah. Yeah, so they don't drop these. If they lose one, it's gone. And look how thick that fur is, eh? For walking in water and stuff like that. Just beautiful animals. Six six Nice, Rob. Another beautiful trophy, eh? <laughs> Another day in South another, Africa. Another <laughs> tough day in Africa. <laughs> it's really tough working here and being a PH. <laughs> so I know it was really windy and I'm sure Rackley wasn't even able, even if he was filming, there's no way he could have got the blows. This thing blew on us twice on the way in. The stalk was actually probably a lot longer than what you guys saw. And it was funny, that, that it was a dried up creek bed. Is that a dried creek bed? Yeah. That's what I thought. It's kind of weird, it's like small pebbles, but it was a dried up creek bed. It was kind of stocked up in it. It was kind of, you guys could tell it had two berms on the side of it. It panned out for us. But when we were sat here waiting for about 10 minutes to actually get the shot, the wind kept swirling and every single time, it was probably two or three times, he would turn and he would look in our direction. He didn't really know what was going on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm all about it. You see his nose is jacked up too. He must have been in a fight with something at some point. Yeah, they do fight a lot. These ones fight a lot? Yeah. Here comes the meat wagon again. Let's see if it's now we got we're gonna pull it up to there. Yeah. Is that everything? Yes. So I don't know if you guys even really they probably don't even realize this. It was actually Rackley's turn to go on a little hunt. We were looking for an impala and uh, you know, just can't pass up the chance to hunt the animal that I came to Africa to hunt. So saw him, stalked him, now he's gonna end up in the uh the old meat locker. Ryan's just got an excellent kudu ball, I guess around 46. Oh, did he really? Did he really? No way! Yeah, You're amazing. kidding oh, me. Oh, to come help you. I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna find them now. We've got, we've got it down next to the road, so it's not too bad. We might actually just, if there's space in the car, we might just <laughs> take it back on our own. Um, because he says he's happy for the day. So we're gonna <laughs> the <laughs> he's happy? Nice to mana, let no kudu kiss Black Impala Anna. And a kudu, kudu? Which he said we probably would never even find out here. Oh my gosh. Hello, hello, the kudu geskit. So I can probe them all to lie, see. Wow. For everybody sitting in your house? That's Afrikaans. I cannot believe Ryan just actually put down a kudu. We're, we just, we're talking about a kudu. Where are you, though? Oh. You don't understand it? No. <laughs> That's very, like, Dutch oriented, right? Yeah. Very I'm Dutch. getting that now. Yeah. Like, if you speak Dutch, you'll be able to understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't. <laughs> wow, look at Ryan. Wow. 
Ryan put the hammer down. This is what this is what we've been looking for. Look at look at this one, dude. Look at that. Almost broken. Buddy. Almost broken. Can you imagine that thing poking you in the eye? <clears throat> or is stomach? Anywhere? anywhere? Look at that tail. Wow. And then we have Rackley's. And then there's that. Yeah. Apparently these are one of the best tasting animals. They said that what was it? Eland, Eland. and Gensbuck. Yeah. Top two. Where would the uh, where would the Leshway rank on taste? Really good. Yeah. Not as not as high as my Eland. Not as high as Eland. Eland, what would you have for lunch? What you guys saw? And then there's Gensbuck. Wait. Look at look at those almost broken. Yeah. Probably when it fell down. That right there is one of the reasons why Africa is probably one of the most impressive places to hunt other than the fact that they have not only just plethora of animals running around. Like it's, it's, if you guys have never been here, it's hard for me to, to kind of explain it to you. Like it, it doesn't really, it's not nothing like Texas, not like the United States. It's not even relatively close with the amount of animals. And then the fact that they have a place where they can, they can quarter out an animal, clean it, get it prepped and ready for mounting, and then have every, every bit of butcher work done to it like right here like right here and then you end up eating all the meat here like that's another thing i know a lot of you guys probably don't really realize what's goes on we hunt them we eat them and then whatever meat is left over of course is going to be given away to the locals and it also feeds all the staff here like all the meat and all the food that we're eating this entire trip has literally been nothing but animals that we have harvested so that's why it's extremely impressive like it's all in one just it's it's amazing seafish thank you jerry knight i know you can't hear me because you're spraying Spraying stuff off, but uh, see you later, there, buddy. Awesome day. <laughs> and Ryan's about to bring in a massive kudu. Apparently. I know what the heck. The right. gray ghost. Beers, beers. You say cheers and beers. Beers, beers. Ears and beers. Be just beers. Just beers. Just beers. Beers are happening tonight on me. <laughs> okay. Okay. On you. The lodge okay, provides them, but it's on me. It's on you. All right, nice and warm is what I'm talking about. Look at this beautiful pad I still have. Look at this. Well, that kind of concludes today's video. I'm really jacked. We're about to go eat some zebra. Yeah, that is right. Ryan put down a zebra. Yeah, he did. He put one down, so it's time to go try it. But anyway, I was telling you guys, uh, if you guys want to come do this, you guys can. You guys can come out here with Patrick. I'll leave his stuff at the very top. Very trustworthy individual great dude runs a great outfit I, I would recommend it it's really fun if you guys ever want to come to africa here's your chance come come do it so anyway i'm hopping off here i will see you guys in the morning with another lunkers tv episode i don't know what we're gonna hit who knows we're gonna be hunting a little bit more as you guys clearly know we got two more days here baby two more days but you guys know the deal Click that over there. Hey, click that over. what am i doing just roll some clips like normal let's let's get i'll see you in a second